Hi everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In today's episode, we're going to explore the land of the Gi Natok. Now, I don't remember these people from the original. They probably maybe just mentioned their name, but we never got to really meet one of them. We never really journeyed to their land. That's what we're gonna do today. If my memory of the original is incorrect and we did do that stuff in there, please let me know. But otherwise, enjoy the video today, guys. Alright, let's go. Hope you guys don't mind if we play a little bit Ugh. extra. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Yuffie is done with this shit. To secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of him. What's here? I don't know. This gi dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Oh my gosh, what is this? The river sticks? The Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! Look at her. <laughs> Would have stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Where the heck are we going? Ugh. I'm gonna hurl. Maybe Don't try swaying the with moment. the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Ugh. Only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. The planet doesn't want to hear you and complaining. What's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me. Am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Did he just call her not Cetra enough? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Damn. So there I am, on the ground, Biggs. bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only... It isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me how I got there. It's a miracle. 
Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Ah, oh, this poor Biggs. He's the only one left. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten times that no shit. Are we talking anymore? about the same cloud? Come on. The guy's desperate Even to prove himself. Make it out, Not like he I've needs to. to Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? Even if I did make it out. Because one's not enough. I'll think about it. Wait, so... How does this Biggs know... Even if I did make it out. Cloud? To go. If Cloud's been with Zack this whole time and never made it back to Midgard to join up with Tifa and Barrett. Even if I did make it out, I've got nowhere to go. If the trains are down, maybe they'll send a chopper for us. The top of the Shinra building? Apparently. There are How am I supposed to take my It's just one thing. How many partings in the Did you hear? Is, this a Is it true? Get a load of this. Okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. I don't get it. I don't get it. To all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. <laughs> Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like... a lot. 
I bet. I yeah. ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. What are they doing they here? Out, right? I, mean, I mean, they got it. To break the fourth wall, there is a purpose that the developers have, right, for them. And at this point, we have no idea what that is. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. This our bigs? What the hell is going on? Go faster, go faster. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? I don't know. We've got breeding. I just hope I can put on a good smile. You know. Hmm? I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go like camping? Like the guy who I only has to worry about the how. And doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You were the guy with uh, Aerith, right? Whoever brought you back, I guess? Is that and assuming there the was someone? Who could it have been? That's a good question. So the whispers Hell with it. Let's are the who? Start by robbing folks and stocking up on guilt. Quit it. You're not fooling anyone. Shut up. It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. This is where we fought Rude. Right? Man, there's just so much going on. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> oh, good lord. Hmm? Huh, new recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you that? I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. Sorry for wasting your time. Here you left something. Some supplies. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. Zach is it's something special. Anyway, I gotta run. 
I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? Wait, what did Kitty? What did she leave? She forgot her backpack, which is filled with traveling supplies. Perhaps she hoped to join Avalanche after all. Oh man, I am just so... It's like the timelines are... They're... Intermingled or something. I don't even know. Now I'm going to ignore chat again because I'm going to start thinking out loud here. But, um, and even though I'm not looking at chat, don't say anything. Don't say too much because, of course, it's hard for me to not completely look at chat. But it's like, I didn't, I didn't remember. It, I think it might have been the white. Was it the white? I don't I don't know if color matters, how much color matters. But the Black Whispers saved Zack, and I I don't I didn't recall if it was white or black ones that saved Biggs. But it was like Biggs was taken from the other timeline because he knows somebody named Cloud. And if it's, if it's Cloud Cloud, like Cloud Strife, there's no way that the bigs from this timeline, from this, whatever this is, to know who Cloud is. So did he get whisked away? Our bigs? To here? And the question that he asked, why? Why? For what purpose? For whose purpose? And is Sephiroth behind any of this? I don't know. So many questions. Well. I don't know what's going on. But I'm just happy that we get to play as Zack and see a little bit of Zack in this. Even if it's just... A tiny, tiny peak. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! <laughs> Zach, <laughs> would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your Daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Hopefully not. That soon. Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. It's me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it? Hello in there.
Maybe uh, take a little breather there, girl. freaking areas for us to visit and explore in this remake and this is crazy ooh got a new staff for Aerith all right let's go Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you, and only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. So are they aliens? They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. It's not. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. She's like, hey, I can relate to these guys. <laughs> Materia. from the cycle of life and death. We that 
It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. With materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia. Okay. This song is really cool. charges within the ward to increase your allies oh when did we get this you can do it hang back <laughs> oh god we're actually dying though don't worry about it yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think Red got his watcher's respite off. I love this singer, man. This is rad. There is but one thing that can deliver unto us ultimate salvation, and that is materia. Ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have long yearned. too young to understand I think she's too young to understand don't know about y'all but I got a sinking feeling I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. 
It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? Nope. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made lack. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more. With pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire. Pure material. With pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire. Purest of material no more. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Mm. The first mention of the black materia. Oh, here we go. The star we call
the one that was still alive revived the one that I killed. So it's like, okay, I need to kill them close to each other. And then I just couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't even hit them. And they kept petrifying me. The star we call home began to wane. Until at last, the prince of souls by the earth shook, seas boiled, skies shattered, and time stopped. Few of my people survived the chaos and calamity. Those who did began a new life here. But it's plugged in! What do you mean it's disconnected? It's been plugged in this whole time. What? It's full battery, like, hello? We gotta kill two of them. It's on you. My turn. Burn. Come on, you. Who it is? Who's that? And then the other one. We want to kill like ASAP. Here goes. All right. Here we go. Cannot take those any but anything in here lightly. All right, where to? Where to? Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. But how did you get here if you're not from the planet? Where are you from? From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. 
Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia. He to our oblivion. Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said, the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <sighs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. Mm? I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. We're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Temple. Temple of Cetra worship. That was a it's whole adventure. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. It's a really long story section here. Like it's been it's been a while since I've really been able to fast travel and stuff, right? Dead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? <gasps> no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia, too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! Ah, <sighs> <sighs> hey, Metal Reaper! And hi, Fractal! Yeah, I'm not sure. I know I played the OG, but I I think we should be so, careful. I gotta ask. Anyway, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? Ah. Uh, Think so? But I bet all Boogie will know for sure. Boogie? This is really like kind of 
<laughs> been a lot i would love to be able to just kind of explore the map and do some side stuff right now <laughs> thank heavens you're alive i feared you might have returned to the planet oh come on we both know you didn't need to worry about me after all i am the son of seto the watcher now Forgive he's all me. proud. <laughs> but if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. Well, what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However... The rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now. A friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Speak with one of the guides, and they'll escort you to various locations around the settlement, a privileged service offered only to guests. A fellow Bugenhagen. <laughs> The workings of our planet are most fascinating, no? Oh, this is so much, so overwhelming. Metal, thank you. I'm so glad you're enjoying the playthrough. This has been a lot with your reaction to every chapter after about eight. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Boogie. I was just a, I thank you for reminding me Uncle Remus I was gonna say Aerith does like like she realizes that she really knows nothing about the Cetra and I think that's bothering her a lot not nothing but she knows very little okay so we can are we free free yet like, can I fast travel? Let's check. Nope. Okay, let's get up to the point where we can do that. Let's Blessings go see who's at the gate. Upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Take me to the entrance. Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Of course! 
Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember what you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. <laughs> we should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. But we can take a plane! <laughs> Maybe we can't go by land. Call Sid Highwind. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Ah! Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. <sighs> Cloud. Yes. Our relic energy signature confirmed. And relatively close to you. Mm. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Thanks, Chadley. What happened? Is he okay? I heard this. <sighs> okay. Now we can do the side stuff. Don't 